the Realme Buds Q. Now, I've had my hands on these for a week, and I've been doing a little bit of testing with them just to see how I feel about them. And now here we are, a week later, and I'm going to tell you what I like the most about them and what are the cons, so basically the pros and cons. So, I'm just going to get jump straight into it. Well, we'll start with the pros. Um, the actual, in the previous video, I mentioned that the base felt a bit weird, but actually I changed the tip size and it's perfect. In fact, I would even argue that these are probably one of the most bassy, if that's a word, um, earpieces that I've used. So in terms of free buds and everything, I think that's because of the actual way they sort of seal in your ear with that um, ear tip bit on the end. I think that makes them extremely bassy. Um, I would say, it's like sitting in a car with a subwoofer in the back. It's it's actually really bassy. So in terms of music genres, um, high bass music genres such as like hip hop and things, they sound absolutely incredible on these earpieces themselves. So I was incorrect in the last video, uh, in the previous video about these Q buds. They actually do have incredible bass. And the mids and the highs and the vocals are a little bit mixed. Um, I would say, but they're not they're not bad. I would just say in t compared to the bass, the bass is extremely bassy. Um, if there was maybe a equalizer app so I could stabilize the audio and choose what I want to emphasize a little bit more, maybe in the Realme Link app in the future, you'll be able to, to tweak the audio settings so I could have a more even sound quality. That would be probably my main con is the fact that I can't tweak it myself, but you know, there isn't any other earbuds that you can do that anyway, and especially for $29.99, they tick most of the boxes. Another pro for me is the sleek design. I would say the way they fit into your ear, uh, more of an upwards way, that's a way better way to do it than um, a lot of Freebirds and things just because they don't have the stick coming out and I just prefer the way these look. I said it was a bit strange in the previous video but it actually has ended up being way more secure and way more sleek in my opinion. The only drawback of them being that small is the microphone. Um, so when you're trying to answer a call or talk on the phone, it is quite difficult to hear you from the receiving end, especially if you're in a loud area, just because that microphone doesn't have that stem to come down onto. But on the whole, if you're just using them day to day in sort of an office scenario or at home, this, the sound quality is going to be fine. It's only when you're in a loud area, like a train station, bus station, uh, something like that, that you won't be wanting to use these. But anyway, you can just use your phone if needs be. So that's the pros and cons of the actual design. The box itself is extremely light at 36 grams. As I said previously, they fit in your pocket perfectly and basically unnoticeable. There's 20 hours of charge on the box plus four hours charge on each Bud's Q on a full charge. So you've got incredible battery time and the actual weight of these things unnoticeable because they're so incredibly light. So that is a definite pro here. The drawback for the case itself is that it feels a little bit fragile, I would say. Um, maybe a tad flimsy. I did feel like I was going to break it at one point by accident when I knocked it onto the side, but it seems like it's actually fairly strong. It just feels a little bit flimsy. But I mean, for $29.99, what can you really expect? The actual quality of plastic is quite high. I just think this joint is maybe a little bit, I'm not sure. I don't want to really break it. It's not the most secure joint I've ever seen. But on the whole, a very nice, sleek design. Uh, and extremely light, as I said. Another con, though, I would say is the micro USB port. Uh, nowadays, the majority of things is USB C. Um, I'm not really sure why this was done. I guess it was for cost cutting because there isn't really any other reason you would do this. It is a con in the sense that not a lot of, not a lot of stuff uses micro USB ports anymore, but you do get one in the box with it, so it isn't too bad. You just have to remember where you put it. Uh, or just bring it with you if you think you're gonna run out of battery. I've only charged these once this entire week and they've managed to last me the whole time. So, and I've been using them throughout my day to day at work and I've been using them a bit at home. I also used these in the gym because I didn't realize in the previous one, previous video when I said that these are actually waterproof. So if you're getting sweaty doing um, exercise, riding a bike, running, these won't break. So I think that is very, very good and um, that has been very helpful. I wouldn't use these to swim in, but splash resistant, they are pretty good and sweat resistant. You know, they're not gonna break if you're doing high intensity training and you wanna listen to some music in the meantime. But yeah, on the whole, 
arguably one of the best completely wireless earphones on the market. The ease of setup was incredible. You literally just press connect on the Realme Link app or just turn your Bluetooth on and find them. It is, it's just one click, it's so easy. Design is incredible and the weight is incredible. The bass is good, the sound quality is actually very good. I just, as I said previously, I would like a bit more customization in the Realme Link app. Um, so on the whole, these are a solid nine out of 10 for an earpiece and the price, you cannot really argue. There isn't really a competitor for um, these earpieces at $29.99. We do have them listed on ephones.com if you wanna buy them right now. There'll be links in the description below so you can check them out. A final thing I wanted to mention was a little bit actually about the gestures and the Realme Link app itself. So you can see as I previously stated in the last video, all the gestures that you can have and all the things you can set up, such as the double tap, pause, play. Um, the device isn't on right now, you have to take them out to do it, so I'll show you that in a minute. But one of the criticisms I would have of these devices is that you have to actually hit directly on this sort of shiny bit for the gestures to actually activate. Um, which is a little bit tricky when you're doing stuff such as running or actual physical exercise. Day to day it's alright, but the actual gestures don't register 100% of the time, um, which can be a little bit frustrating, especially if you're trying to pick up a call using them. I did try my hardest to use the gestures and not use the phone itself, but it just became a lot easier to use the phone itself. But that would be probably the major criticism is the registering of the gestures. On the whole though, very good. The gestures do work. Um, just not 100% consistently is what I would say. The gaming mode is actually a latency thing so when you switch them into gaming mode you hear a car engine roaring and that basically means that the latency is reduced to 118 milliseconds which basically means that the time it takes for the phone to give you the sound on the headphones is, is that many milliseconds so not long at all um, and they, you really, really notice a difference when, they put into, when they're put into gaming mode and they are incredibly good when paired with this X3 which has an incredible processor for games such as PUBG, Call of Duty, Alps File, all your good high demanding games. So, you know, you're not going to notice any lag and they make for an incredible pair when paired together as do all Realme devices such as the band, the watch, they always work really well with other Realme devices. So, would I recommend these Realme Buds Q? Yes I would. They're actually incredible. For $29.99, you can't really complain. If the only complaint I have is the fact that this feels a bit flimsy and I want to customize the sound, then for $29.99, I'm willing to sacrifice that. I am going to use these probably from now on as my go-to earpieces just because they're sort of like a, a mindless purchase. $29.99, you don't really mind what happens to them and the fact that they're waterproof, that I can use them in the gym. Yeah, I would recommend these on the whole. I think they're incredible. They will be listed in the description below. Solid nine, and nine out of 10 for an earpiece, completely wireless, and they fit very well. So yeah, that's my weekly review on the Realme Buds Q. I'm highly impressed, and I think you should check them out. As I said, will be linked in the description if you want to check them out. If you want to see my previous video on these Realmes, that I will also be linked in the description. That'll be on our main channel, eFones, so you can check that out also. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions about these Realme Buds Q, just leave it in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.